Good morning, students. Welcome to the chapter one, knowing our numbers for standard six. This is the fifth part of the video. Today we are going to discuss the problem based on divisions. So here there is one problem written on the board. You can see to stitch a shirt, two meter fifteen centimeter cloth is needed. Out of forty meter cloth, how many shirts? How many shirts can be stitched? How many shirts can be stitched, and how much cloth will remain? So here the, the problem is of division. First, we convert two meter fifteen centimeter is equal to. You know, one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. So we convert first two meter fifteen centimeter into centimeter. So it is two hundred plus. 15 so that is 215 cm now convert 40 m into cm means 40 multiplied by 100 that is 4000 cm now divide these two number 215 divided by 4000 now you get the question This is the divisor dividend. You get the question. That is the answer. So two hundred fifteen divided by four thousand. So first we need to prepare a table. First it is one z two hundred fifteen. Now minus this ten nine three. Ten minus five is five. Nine minus one is eight. Three minus two, one. Carry down the zero. Now divide again. So it will be two eight is a eight five is a fifteen. Eight five is a forty zero four carry eight one is a eight eight plus four two one carry eight two is a sixteen one seventeen. Now if you subtract this zero five minus two is three eight minus seven is one. So how many shirts can be prepared? This is the answer. So you write here eighteen shirts can be prepared, and how many cloth will remain? One thirty centimeter. So you can convert this into meter and centimeter. That is one meter thirty centimeter. So you can write here one meter thirty centimeter cloth will be will remain. So that will be the problem here. Now we'll continue with the next question. Here medicine is packed in boxes. Each weighing four kg five hundred grams. How many such boxes can be loaded in a van, which cannot carry beyond eight hundred kg? So here, medicine is packed in a boxes. Means each boxes are made. Each weighing four kg five hundred grams. So the first thing we have to convert four kg five hundred grams into grams. Four kg. 500 grams is equal to 4 kg. So you know 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. So 4 kg is equal to so 4 into 1000 plus 500. So it is 
plus 500 is equal to 4500 gram. Now convert, what do you mean by beyond 800 kg? So how many such boxes can be loaded in a van which cannot carry beyond 800 kg? Which means it cannot carry more than, the van cannot carry more than 800 kg. The maximum weight it can carry is 800 kg. So first convert 800 kg into grams. We must have both the same units in order to divide. So 800 multiplied by 1000, that will be 8 lakh grams. Now divide. So 4500 divided by 8 lakh grams. So first ones are 4500 minus 0, 0, 45, 8 means 10 here, 7, 10 minus 5, 5, 7 minus 4, 3, carry down one number here. So it is 3500. Now divide 4500 divided by 35,000. 45. 6 is 27, 7 is 7 is 2, 0, 5, 0, 0. Now you can subtract. 0, 0, 0, 0. 10 minus 5, 5. Cut 4, 4 minus 1, 3. 3 minus 1, 2. Now put down the 0. Sorry, 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, putting down a 0 will be 45,000 again 315 plus 45 360 405 so the number will go is 77. So 7 31500. Now if we subtract 0, 0, 10 minus 5 is 5, 4 minus 1 is 3. 0 minus 0 is 0. So now, if you see how many boxes it can carry. So the van can carry, van can carry 177 boxes. So that will be the answer. Now, we will go to the next problem. The distance between the school and a student's house is 1 km 875 meters. Every day he walks both ways. Find the total distance travelled in 6 days. So first thing, you write the statement. So first, he walks both ways. Both ways means, what do you mean by both ways? So he walks from school to house again 
In the morning he goes from house to school. In the evening he comes back from school to house. So that way he walks both way. So one kilometer eight seventy five meters is equal to you know one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters. So here one into thousand plus eight seventy five. So it will be thousand plus eight seventy five. So it will be one thousand eight hundred and seventy five meters. One way while going or coming. Now both ways one thousand eight hundred seventy five plus one thousand eight hundred seventy five. Add this. Two. 5 plus 5 zero 1 carry 5 1 carry 7 1 carry so he totally walks 3754 meters in one day now he walks this much in one day how will you find for 6 days so 3750 multiplied by 6 Zero multiplied by six is zero. Six fives are thirty. Three carried six sevens are forty-two. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. Forty-five, four carried. Six threes are eighteen. Eighteen plus four it is twenty-two. Twenty-two thousand five hundred. What twenty-two thousand five hundred meters? If you convert back into kilometers, it will be twenty-two kilometers, five hundred meters. So total, he walks twenty-two kilometers, five hundred meters in six days. This is your home assignment. First question is: A vessel has four liter and five hundred ml of curd. In how many glasses each of 25 ml capacity can be filled? So what you have to do, you have to divide this. First, convert 4 liter 500 ml into milliliter and divide by 25. The number of sheets of paper available for making notebook is 75,000. Each sheet makes eight pages of a notebook. Each notebook contains 200 pages. How many notebooks can be made from the paper available? Now one sheet is divided. This one sheet is divided into eight pages. So seventy-five thousand first multiply by eight, then divide it by two hundred. So you can solve these problems at home.